Hey, what's up, Pep Nation? We are back. It is Throw Down Thursday, and we're gonna be throwing down the deck of cards. I can't wait for you guys to even get into this workout, but we gotta warm up first. Now, today is all about focus. I want you to really focus in, because it's gonna be very challenging. And when I talk about challenging, I'm not just talking about an average type workout. This is a workout that's gonna hit you and it's gonna hit you hard, it's gonna hit you fast. You're gonna have to keep on moving consistently with no breaks for under 20 minutes. And I just love that type of stimulus because it really brings it home, it really brings it into focus of how bad you're gonna want it. So focus in, lock in, let's start this workout right here. Now, all we're gonna do is an easy style workout. Now, we just finished a nice mobility day, so let's just get it in. So I just want some nice, easy jumping jacks. Stay nice and low on the toes. Make sure those hands are coming over top of the head. We're just gonna be doing this for another 10 seconds. From there, we're gonna go into our squat jumping jacks. Now, I love the squat jumping jacks because it really starts to hit those glutes in that lower legs. So we're gonna go right into the squat, jump, just jump in and out. So we've done these ones. I like to get into the warm-ups that we've done just to kind of keep everything the same so we can kind of learn and get better at it. So just kind of get a good 10 of these in. And then we're gonna go to my quick jumping jacks. Now we're not gonna spend a lot of time on the warm-up. We're gonna be doing just a little bit of some things just to kind of get our body loose, heart rate up. Now some quick ones. But all this is gonna do is just get us loose and get our body activated, primed, and ready to go. Because this workout literally is going to be a challenge. Three, two, and one. From here, I want you to do, I call it the world's greatest stretch. High knee pull, big lunge. We're gonna open, open, and then get our hamstring involved as well. So you're here, high knee pull, drop down, big lunge. Hands go to the ground, try to keep the leg is extended in the back straight. Open, open, and hamstring and back. Give me three of those per side. So open up those hips. We're getting some good T-spine mobility. Really working on the hamstrings as well, getting that mobilized. And we're gonna be cracking lacking in just a few minutes. Now, if you're sore at all, hopefully the mobility session if you did it, really opened up some of those tight bound down areas because mobility is the key to success. It's also huge in our recovery process as athletes. You wanna make sure that you're staying on top of your mobility, you're staying on top of your nutrition and your sleep. Those are three keys to success. That's what's gonna allow you to stay ahead of the competition because when you're recovered, you can do these workouts at full intensity and max effort. From here, I'm gonna go into my side to side lunge body transfer. Now we can also get into what I call a Cossack. We're in that bottom position and we turn our toe towards the ceiling. So check this out. So we're just gonna stay nice and low. And I want about three to five, trying to make sure we try to keep the heel on the ground. Once we can get a few of those, we're gonna then drop and let the toe go up and just kind of sit in here and get that nice big stretch in the groin and the hamstring. We're just gonna go back and forth. Now this is too difficult. Just stay with your side to side on body transfer lunges. Give me about three to five each side. We're just gonna open up and really get those hips to masterfully get nice and opened up. From here, I'm gonna go to the cross body pull and reach. I wanna reach out in front of me. And this time I'm gonna go to a Superman and a kick. So cross body pull, hip hinge, reach out, balance in the ankle, knee, hip, kick out to Superman, get that in that hamstring on this side, and then backside hamstring. Give me three per side here. So again, what makes this exercise a little more challenging is that it involves a ton of balance. And as you can see, especially as I'm talking, you have to stay locked and you have to stay focused and you have to understand that the movement when done properly, it's very effective because it's getting your body and your proprioception, your balance and your awareness all ready to go for the workout. Last one and finished. From here, I just wanna do some gas pedalers. So we're gonna drop down to the ground and I wanna get my, my butt up nice and high. I'm just gonna drop my heel down into the ground. My hands are slightly in front of me and I'm just trying to really open up that gastroc, so that calf area, Achilles, 
and hamstrings. By just driving as I feel better, I'm gonna drive those heels a little bit quicker into the ground. Okay, another five seconds here. Really feel out those sides. You wanna make it a little bit more challenging. Maybe get a little bit more of a stretch. You can put one leg on top of the other. Then I'm just gonna finish off with my 90-90. So I'm going 90 degree angles here. We're about five minutes in, guys. So right now, that's all you need because the workout alone is gonna get you. I want you to do each angle here. So knee, chin, and ankle, about three to five times per angle. Then we're gonna flip sides. As you flip sides, keep your chest up and get to the other side. Now we always tell you guys, this is for all age groups, these training programs, right? And also, you're only gonna get in what you put out. So if you're slacking and you're not putting in much effort, guess what? You're not gonna see that type of effort in your sport or in life. Now we're gonna go drop the knees down, get a little bit of some internal external rotation. So do about 10 per side, so 20 total. So what I'm saying is the type of energy, the type of intensity, you know, whatever you put in, you're gonna get out in the workout and in life. So this, like I said, today is gonna be difficult and I never lie to you, I keep it 100 because I wanna get your mind prepared for the workout. Get your mind prepared for battle. Get your mind prepared for anything that's gonna hit you in life. Now from here, we're gonna just open up those hips. Now what I'm looking for is a two bounce to a hip flip. Back to the middle, two bounce, quick hip flip. We're gonna do 10 total five per side, and we're just gonna stay nice and light and nice dynamic on the feet, okay? So oh, we're gonna start with two bounces and just flip to your left, ready? And here we go, one, two, flip, one, two, flip, one, two, flip. Just stay at this pace and just make sure you're getting good, active, mobile hips. Make sure the shoulders stay square, last ones, and done. We're gonna do that again, but we're gonna move a little bit quicker. So we're gonna take 10 seconds rest here. This time, a little bit quicker ground contact. So once that foot touches the ground, it pop, pop, flip quick, get back to the middle, right into that ready position. You guys ready? Three, two, one, and bounce. One, two, flip, one, two, flip. That's it, keep up if you can. Go as quick as you can under control. A few more here. One more, we'll good luck, guys, come on. Done. Love it. Well, I did a little bit more, but Hard for me to count, get the reps and talk. From here, we're gonna look for just some quick, what I call them, a rapid response two inch runs. Now, if you have the pet fast bands, you can strap them on. If not, don't worry, you're good without them. Now, what I'm looking for in a rapid response run, two inch runs, we're gonna be on the spot and you're gonna chop the feet as fast as humanly possible. But you still wanna maintain quick, or sorry, maintain slow arms on this. So quick feet, slow arms. So we're training the brain for just the lower body to move very quick, but the hands to move slow. So this really has to be the focus and intent of the exercise. So I'm gonna show you just an example before we get to the first one. So quick feet, slow hands. That's all I want. We're gonna go for five seconds, okay? Let's check this out from the side. Three, two, one, and go. So it's quick feet. Slow hands, go, pick up, three, two, one, done. So I want that quick, fast, dynamic, quick feet. Got, can't, can't say more than quick feet, but you want it very fast, very dynamic, with slow arms. We got another round of that. Take a quick second, so we want five seconds on, about 25, 30 seconds of rest. Okay, because this is very taxing on the nervous system. Okay, you guys ready? Start in five seconds, four, Sink down a little bit more this time. Two, balls of your feet, chest lightly over the knees and toes. One, and go. Three, two, one. Done, love it. This next one is virtually be the exact same thing. But what we're looking for is hip flips. So we're gonna be flipping the hips the exact same time as those feet are going up and down as fast as humanly possible. So I want you to get as many flips in as you can in five seconds, okay? You guys ready? So I'll, first I'll show you, okay? So it's here, like that. You guys ready in three, two, one, and go. So flip those hips, quick feet, quick feet, three, two, and one, good, done. So as you can see, similar to my hip flips, 
where my shoulders stay relatively straight, my hips go to one side of the room, my shoulders square up, and I'm using some torque for my upper body to really pull over to get a lot more hip mobility, which is, I always tell you, key for being that fluid, dynamic athlete that can get in and out of change of directions very quickly and very smoothly. Let's do it again. Three, two, more torque this time. One, and go. Flip, 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 flip. Three, two, one, done. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. We got the last few exercises here. All I'm looking for is do some single leg work. So we're gonna go back and forth, five seconds as humanly possible. We're gonna do right side, then left side, and we're done. So we're going over an imaginary line as quick as possible. Okay, you guys ready? Three, two, one, go. Quick feet. Three, two, and one. Now the reason why we do this stuff is because in order to be fast, in order to be quick, you gotta do very fast dynamic things. If you wanna run slow, you go outside and you run slow. You go for jogs. If you wanna run fast, you gotta do more sprint work. If you wanna be quick and dynamic and explosive, you gotta do quick, dynamic, explosive exercises. This gets the heart rate up, it gets us warmed up, but it prepares us in the same type of stimulus as we would in sports. Very fast, very aggressive, very quick, a lot of intent, which then mimics the game and exactly how we would play. You guys ready? In three, the other side. Two, we got that break. One, go. Quick, look at the arms, look at the arms. One, one, four, three, two, one, done. Woo! I'm warm. I feel good, I feel prepared. We're only about 10 minutes in. About to start this workout. Let's go! All right, Pep Nation, we are back. Warm-up's complete. It is throw down Thursday, and we are throwing down the deck. This is our virtual deck of cards training session. I love it because it's so interactive, and I literally don't know what card is gonna come up, and I literally get to see it on the screen, and I'm working just like you at home or wherever you are, and we're about to throw down this deck, and we're about to throw down in this workout. But like I told you in the warm-up, what you put in is what you get out. So inspire to be great. Inspire the next person in your life. Inspire yourself. Inspire the universe. And you're going to get it all back. And I want you to put everything you got right now and throw it down and give me 100% effort. If you can do that, you can stick with me. We're going places, baby. So let me, ex let me explain and tell you the workout. So, in a deck of cards, we know there's 52. So, this is gonna last about 20 minutes because we got 52 cards that are gonna come up on the screen. Now, we know in a deck of cards we have our hearts, we have our diamonds, we have our spades, we have our clubs, okay? And each of one of, uh, each one of those are going to be paired with an exercise. Now, we, we have four exercises but really five because the jokers are gonna be an exercise too. So we have five exercises. The hearts are gonna be push-ups. So whatever, whenever the hearts come up, whatever number that is, that we're going to do that, uh, score, um, um, that amount of reps for the push-ups. When the, when the diamonds come up, we have V-ups. When, ha when we have the spades come up, we have squat jumps. When we have the clubs come up, we have split lunge jumps. Now, all of the numbers corresponding from two to five, I wanted to try to do it explosive. Now I know a squat jump is already explosive, but maybe you can do a tuck jump. So bring the knees to the chest. I know the split lunge jumps are a little bit explosive, but maybe you can do a split lunge tuck jump. Try to be a little bit more explosive with those lower numbers. From six all the way to 10, normal. But we got jacks, we got queens, we got kings, we got aces. Now all the jacks, those are 11 reps. All the queens, those are 12 reps. All the kings, those are 13. And because I love you guys, aces are 15 reps of every single exercise. So hope you, that makes sense. One minute plank for all jokers. Now at any time you feel like you can't keep up, take a second, wait for the next card to come up. Also in the planks, those are one minute. That might be an opportunity to grab some water if, if you are exhausted. Every single card, every single number, comes with a corresponding amount of time that it takes. So if I'm doing push-ups, I got about six to seven seconds to, or, so if I got two push-ups, I got about six seconds to complete two push-ups. 
So if I do it in the three seconds, I got three seconds extra remaining of rest. So it goes by very quick. It goes very, very fast. Hopefully that explains it. You take a breath and let's go. So we're gonna start this up in 10 seconds. I'm ready, baby, I'm ready. I hope you're ready out there. Let's see what the first one is. Push-ups, V-ups, squats, and lunge jumps. First one, beautiful. Four V-ups, let's go, four V-ups. Two, three, four. You got three seconds to rest. Split lunge jumps, hey? You got seven reps. And done. Hey, we got two explosive push-ups. One, two. Woo! Hey, we got 12 V-ups. 20 seconds. Thanks. Nine, come on guys. 10, 11, and 12. Gotta keep with the count now. Gotta keep with the count. Love those queens. Hey, we got explosive squat jumps. Hey, three reps, one, two, three. Beautiful, get those explosive ones in when you can. Hey, five push-ups, explosive now, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, explosive squat jumps, we got five reps, one, tuck jumps, one, two, three, four, five. Wow, I love those, can you get them on quick? Explosive push-ups, three reps, come on, quick. One, two, three. Hey, split lunge jump, 10 reps per side. Woo, whoopee. Five, six, seven, come on, walk with me. Eight, nine, 10, we're off the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So we're doing 10 per side, baby. Let's get the heart rate up real quick. Plank, one minute plank, get down to the ground. Breathe here. Now, if your heart rate's already up, that's what I want. That's what I'm looking for. If you already broke a sweat, good. You need to. That's what we want. Wow. Now anytime, you just need a sip of water. Grab it, I'm okay with that. But I wanna see if you can survive here. If you can go through the trenches. Hey, we're almost halfway, you guys. Focus on this. Squeeze your glutes and make sure that your hips are level with your shoulders. Squeeze those glutes, really turn the pelvis into neutral. Woo wee! It's gonna burn. This is your rest period right here. It's gonna take us about 20 minutes to get this workout in, so we're not even a quarter of the way done. 10 seconds remaining here. Breathe for me. Three, two, one. See the next one coming up. V up, 11 reps. Wow, core to core. Three, four. Five, six, seven, come on. Eight, nine, ten, one more. Eleven. Wow, five seconds remaining. You guys are already burning your core, I know I am. Those are squat jumps, two reps. One, two, wow, that's the rest we needed, baby. Love it. You're supposed to split lunch jumps, five reps. Okay, one, two, three, four. Five, other side. One, two, three, come on. Four, five, right down the VX. One, two, three, four, caught up, baby. Five, that's what it's all about. Push-ups, lunge splits on again. Oh no. Three, Eight, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Push up, 6 reps. Normal ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Keep pushing, guys. Squat jumps, 9 reps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Hey, nine. You get them done quick, you get a break. 
Push-ups, 15 reps. Oh boy. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, four, 13, 12, 14, 14, 15. Wow. I'm burning right now, guys. Wow. So the lunge jumps. One, two, one, two. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a, this is a nasty workout. Squat jumps. One, two, three, four, eight of them. Five, six, seven, eight. You guys got everything on the screen. It's showing you, just like me. Plank, baby. Woo, woo. Is there ever time for a plank? Now it's, now it's the time. But I'm slipping and sliding. So if you have to go into a all four plank like this, because there maybe it's a little bit slippery, go ahead, that's okay. It's actually a little bit tougher, the straight arm plank, because it puts a little bit more stability, more emphasis in the shoulders. It's just so slippery on my ground, so no excuses, I'm still gonna get this in. Wow. Legs are shaking, arms are shaking. Hard to catch your breath, but that's great for aerobic conditioning, but it's very anaerobic because we have to really push and be very explosive during exercises. Whew. Hold that good position for me, guys. Five seconds here, guys, five seconds. Whoo! And two more of these bad boys coming up. The Push ups, 10 reps. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Wow. Hope you have your water handy. I have no clue what's coming up. So squat jumps. One, two, three, four. Woo! Got four reps on there. Quick ones, too. Eight push ups. Good forward technique. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow. Woo! I broke a sweat. 11 push ups. Oh my God. They want to get us today, don't they? Come on, keep up with me now. Hey, if you can't keep up, don't worry. You're going to in eight weeks. Explosive push ups, wow. One, two, three. Ah. Oh, my God. One. Two, six push-ups, four, five, legs. Wow, push-ups guys are just burning us right now. Hey, V-ups, we got V-ups. One, 15 reps. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hope it's not no plank. Okay, two more, 14, and Keep the clock. Split lunge jumps, three reps. Three reps. One, two, three, switch sides. One, two, three. Split lunge, oh my gosh. There's no way, guys. Two, three, we'll find one. Come on, 10 more. We'll make it through the next one. Push ups. Come on. Guys, I can't move. I cannot move. I need something to, to plank on. Woo. So I wish I had my mat here. 
You get a mat? Wow, you guys are doing well. I gotta come better, better, better prepared next time. So this is a sacrifice I gotta make. Whew. Straight arm planks, where it makes it a little bit more challenging. Whew. Keep the rib cage locked. Keep the core nice and tight. Whew. Make those, sure those shoulders are engaged. Corks through the ground. This is the time to breathe and break. This is your break time. Hopefully there's not 25 push-ups after this. Come on, baby. Let's go! Cough in his head. Oh, the baby, let's go. I got that, buddy. Ah! Squat jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, seven. Three seconds of break in the last minute. Uh, split lunge jumps. 24 of them. We're halfway through the deck, guys. Five, six, seven, eight. Four seconds. Get some little water in my squat jumps. I can handle those. Come on, keep the chest up. Two, three, four, five, six. This will make you into a machine. Into a freaking machine. So it's a lunge jumps. One, two, three, four reps. One, five, six, seven, eight. Squat jumps. Wow, legs on leg, baby. 15, three, four, five, six. Dig deep, dig deep. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Dig deep. Holy! Six B ups. Ah, trust me, if I knew where it was, I would have been on the ground already. Six. Thirteen push ups, guys. Wow. Three, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Come on, guys. Keep fighting. Keep pushing. We're almost done this thing, I hope. Single leg jumps, foot lunge jumps. This is the hardest, you know that. Let's work through them. Nine reps for a side, 18 total. That's the last one. 18. Hey, up. Oh, I'm slipping inside in now. Five, come on. Six, seven, eight. This is not no. Easy walk in the park workout. This is everything you got type workout. Three, four, five, eight, six. Seven, eight. Wow. I'm with you every step of the way, guys. Seven push ups. You get a little break here, make a fast one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Squat jumps. One, two, three, four, ten of them. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I know you're getting tired at home. I'm here with you every step of the way, guys. Every step of the freaking way. Explosive VS, baby. 
Ah. Hey, 15 push ups. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That's all right. That's a little B up one. We'll get that one back. Quarter 13. Wow. This thing does not end, guys. Where's the end? Two, three, four, five, six, 13, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, four, thirteen. Wow. I got cramps, man. Stomach's burning right now. It's all right. I know that plank is coming up soon, guys. But lunch jumps has to. Ten BS guys. Wow. Nine push ups. Guys, you just gotta keep pushing. You gotta keep digging. You gotta keep grinding. Hey, make the sacrifice now. Tell yourself you want it. Here's that last minute plank hold. Get up and get working. Wow. My hands are slipping, they're sliding. Figure out a way. Get better or get beat. You will outwork the talent. You will outwork the competition. You will outwork everybody. If you just put your mind in the right place. I know it's tough. Get back up right now. If you're taking a drink, get back on the ground. If you're laying those hips on the ground, get them up. Push for me now. Give me everything you got. You know the workout's almost done. You know we're almost complete. You gotta widen those hands. You gotta switch the grip. I don't care what you gotta do. Keep fighting. Keep working. Keep grinding. Strive for greatness every second, every rep, every set of your goddamn life. Part. Ah. Ah. Create a monster inside of you. Fuel your, fuel yourself. If it was easy, everybody would do it. Remember, confidence, it has no competition. Create it, demand it, expect it, live it. Dream it, achieve it. I'm gonna see you guys next time. Let's go, baby. So if you thought that video was hot fire and wanna get a better understanding of the methodology and philosophy and get a comprehensive breakdown of each and every exercise, check out my sports performance training program, volume one and volume two, and our speed and agility accelerator in the links below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to take your game to the next level. I'll see you guys soon.